Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. We're doing a 54 pellet number four buck load in 12 gauge three and a half today. That's a huge payload and guys as always with these huge payloads, load them at your own risk. This is a monster, monster load. Now before we get started, I just want to say it doesn't have to be number four buck. Any size buckshot you have that will fit in a 12 gauge shell conventionally loaded will work here as long as the payload weight matches or is slightly under the same payload that the number four buck will be, if that makes sense. If you're loading this with a gas seal and fiber cushion wad, then adjust your uh, fiber cushion wad height accordingly to uh, whatever size buckshot you're using. But I'm using number four buck. So anyway, to get things started, I'm using a brand new primed Shadot hole from Ballistic Products. These are the uh, olive green ones. I believe I picked these up in um, December 2021, so I've had them a while. Still have quite a few of them kicking around here, but uh, that's what we're using. I like the olive green, you know, hauls. They're, uh, they're pretty cool. I've got a lot of the red and white ones too, but the olive green ones are probably my favorite. Okay, so the powder charge that I'm using is 43 grains of Little Gun. This is very close to a two and three quarter ounce load. Uh, I believe it's just one, you know, number four buck pellet away from being a two and three quarter ounce load. Uh, total payload weight is 2.69 ounces. So, uh, I'm using a powder charge for a two and three quarter ounce load. The max charge for a two and three quarter ounce load. And you heard that right. Um, it goes up to three ounces in 10 gauge. We're using Little Gun. One of my favorite powders. Uh, here's my dipper. Should be 43 right there. Let's double check that. And we have, yep, 43 grains. Okay, on top of that 43 grains of Little Gun, we're using a uh, NC12, or this actually might be the 12 gauge overshot card, but uh, it's 0 .070 thousandths thick. We need that to seal the powder because these uh, flex seal wads are a little bit loose fitting in these Shadot holes. Uh, thank you, Matt, for the uh, overshot cards and you know flex seals. All right, that's now down in place. Better make sure just in case. That's definitely got it. I'm using one sheet of the My Slim Mylar. Uh, you need the My Thin Mylar for this right here, but you know what, it works, it works okay. You just roll it up and stick it down in your hull. It'll unroll itself and conform to the inside of the uh, hull. Just like that. No, you guys can't see it, but we have a Mylar wrap in there. And uh, in my experience, if you don't use the Mylar, you're going to be kissing that hole goodbye. It's going to rip it up. Okay, so here is the part that gets a little bit challenging. You need 54 pellets and number four buck, and you can just throw it in the hole and uh, crimp it, you know, buffer if you want to, and that works. But uh, with these large number four buck loads like this, I like to stack them in, you know, 12 and 16 usually and uh, 10 gauge. I'm using my tumbled and polished hard cast. Number four buck, 24 caliber. This is what that looks like. Pretty shiny, pretty round. I don't uh, snip my pellets apart. I twist them apart with uh, two pairs of pliers. You know, just twist them apart. It uh, keeps them round, I think. Okay, so these are gonna stack by rows of seven, six around the perimeter and one in the center, creating a row of seven. You're gonna wanna do that until you get to uh, 48 pellets and then the top row is gonna be a row of six without one in the center. Okay, to make that a little bit more understandable, hopefully, is uh, when you're putting these pellets in, count to 48 by rows of seven. When you get to 48, do not put one in the middle. Just skip it and put six on top, and there's your 54 pellets. I'll show you what this looks like. And here's what that looks like. Again, once you get to 48, skip putting the pellet in the middle row, and then add six on top of that, and you have 54. So the total lead payload weight without any buffer is 2.63 ounces. With buffer, it's gonna be 2.69, 2.7. Again, one pellet away from being two and three quarter ounces. So if you want to, you could add that, you know, last pellet in the center right there and get a full two and three quarter ounce load with buffer. But you know, I'm just doing a traditional 54 pellet load instead of a 55 pellet load, even though you totally could. I am using Ballistic Products Mix Number 47 buffer here because I like, you know, as tight of a pattern as possible. And this is conventionally loaded. 
So that took about two and an eighth scoops of the Lee 2.2 cc dipper. And that's what it looks like right there. I know one pellet wasn't showing. There, now you can see all of them. But uh, you can put an overshot card on this if you want to, but in my experience, it doesn't need it. I've loaded up about, you know, a dozen of these tonight. And that's what it looks like after you crimp it. So, uh, back station of the Lee Load All, six point crimp. Oops. Really nice looking pre crimp. And here's what we end up with a very good looking shell. And yep, you can roll or fold crimp that. Either way, works equally well in our experience. If you're using the X12X gas seal and fiber cushion wad or cork or felt, you need one X12X gas seal and the full half inch of fiber, cork, or felt wadding. And, uh, of course, Mylar wrap. If you don't use Mylar again, you're probably going to end up losing the haul. And you can do the same thing in 10 gauge. You need 47 grains of little gun, though. Just a little bit more for the same payload. You can take it to 3 ounces, and uh, for that, you need 45 grains of little gun for the max charge. But there it is in 10 gauge. While we're on the subject of uh, big loads here, here is a 2 ounce load in a 3 inch 12 gauge shell. We're using uh, 26 grains of long shot, the Clay Buster CB1138 wad, and 2 ounces of uh, 7.5. Now, uh, the actual wad right here, the Winchester version of it, is the Clay uh Winchester WAA-12R, the red wad. Ounce and three-eighth in uh, two and three-quarter inch tapered shells. Now this is a very, very good patterning load with mild recoil. The velocity is 1146 FPS, and uh, at 35 yards, it probably, I want to say, put a... Uh, well, you guys will see the pattern. We filmed it. Uh, we're coming out with a turkey load video in the near future. I want to say the next week or two, so you guys will be seeing that. This load performed awesome, so uh, just wait and see. It was a good load. If you guys haven't done this yet or uh, aren't already part of the group, then go to Facebook and join the Buck and Slug Reloaders group. I'm in there. A lot of other really good people are on there that really know what they're doing. So go ahead and join that if you're interested. Um, it's a great place to be. But other than that, um, I'm going to end this video here, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. If you got any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section down below. We will get back to you. If you want to, go check out our Patreon. It's as low as a dollar a month, and every penny we get goes right back into the channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. We also have an Instagram. It's at the Shotgun Scientist. We post some behind-the-scenes stuff and, you know, cool load ideas. So if you want to go check that out, I'll leave a link in the description to that below as well. You guys take it easy. We'll see you in the next one.